so I'm back and happy holidays. I know it's past Christmas, but Merry Christmas. And so sorry I haven't been posting videos in time, even though it's the holidays. Um, kind of got caught up with school. There's a lot of stuff to do, and well, here's a video. I kind of noticed how you guys are asking me stuff on the comments in my past videos and sorry I haven't been posting again I'm really sorry about that and yeah well I don't really know what to do uh, for another video so I'm gonna ask you this question what would you like me to do what would you like to see in my videos and yeah so here's a rather weird video for you guys and it involves rooting again and yeah so what i'm going to do is uh, i'm gonna teach you how to back up your current rom let's say this is the stock um touch whiz i'm not touch whiz gingerbread 2.3.6 and with touch whiz on it and if you flash a rom you don't really need to go to odin anymore you could just back it up so the files you'll need is the usual CWM skid 1980 um, galaxyy.zip right there. And yeah, that's kind of all you need. Sorry, I have a cold. Um, and you don't really need root access for this, but you, you're going to do this because you have root access because you don't want to break your phone or if you make a mistake, you want to be able to, you know, back it up. Sorry for the chatter, and here we go. So first you turn off your phone. Oh, oh wait. Wait. There, we're gonna turn it off. And sorry if this phone's kind of unorganized. Um, I've been playing with my Galaxy S3. Yes, I do have a Galaxy S3, and maybe I'll be making videos about that. But I'll still be making videos about my Galaxy Y. Okay. Okay. Uh, for, you go to recovery mode by pressing the home button, the volume up, and the power button at the same time. Until the Samsung Galaxy Y screen comes up. And as usual, to go to clockwork mode recovery, you go apply update.zip, and then you go to select the file that you just downloaded, which is right there. Oh yeah guys, before I continue, sorry I have to pause you, um, I want to ask you how you feel about this camera. This is my Galaxy S3, I'm using it to shoot this video and tell me about how good the quality is and stuff, okay? So, so you won't be able, so, let's go back to the topic. And, here, you're in the clockwork mode recovery, and you flash around and you, you install S zip from SD card right and you just go from backup and restore and press the home button to continue and then there it is backup so when you backup it's gonna run the backup it's gonna back up everything and then that's it it's gonna be okay so it won't break your phone it'll, it'll just back up it's like copying the entire ROM, everything, all your apps, all the data, basically your whole phone. And then here we go to restore. Restore is when you... Oh, right, I don't have a backup. I don't have a backup right now. So when you press restore, it's gonna... Um, it's gonna find a restore file in, and when you backup, it's gonna create a folder called named clockwork mod inside that folder there's a backup folder named backup and then inside that folder there's another folder with the, a date and time and that's when you back it up and you can rename it in the when you turn on your phone so you'll know what backup it is oh sorry if i'm leaning to okay there and yeah and it says here, couldn't open directory, no files found, because I don't have a backup, so there's no folder and no backup file. So, 
when you press restore, it's gonna show a list of all your backups. Then you can just restore it. And then advanced restore is when it's gonna find a backup. Oh, okay. It's just the same. But you can re advanced restore is when you restore different files. Like if you just want to restore the data, you want to restore apps, you want to restore the cache, and those other stuff. So yeah, that's basically how you back up your phone. And I kind of saw this in the comments below how you like go back. So yeah, this is kind of it. So just remember before you flash your ROM or do something, make a backup. It kind of helps. So you won't have to go through everything again. You don't have to go th from complete stock. So let's say I, I break my phone, okay? Um, when you break your phone, and then you unbrick it using Odin. You can go to Clockwork Mod again, then you restore it. So, anyway, all the files are still saved in the SD card. So, yeah. Um, thanks for watching this video, guys. So, click the like button and the subscribe button. And, peace out.